All right. You have a piece of 12 gauge wire wrapped around the end of this hot dog. So this is a really good connection on either end of this hot dog. It smells like something you'd eat at Grandpa and Grandma's at Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's more of like a sausage yeah, type it's like thing. Uncle Scott made it. So here's the setup uh, we're going to test here. Ruben was just telling me a minute ago <laughs> that he thought that if you were to hold your arm on the frame of the panel like this and then touch one of those main lugs that your your arm would explode. I like said it would probably <laughs> blow a chunk of meat out. <laughs> so, but I don't know. So, and that would only be 120 volts if you were to touch one of those two to the frame. That would be 120 volts. But we're going to do it even better. We have this hooked up to a double pole breaker, so we'll have a full 240 volts going through the hot dog. So this would be what would happen if you took your fingers like this and stuck your fingers one on each side of these main lugs coming into the panel. So you can see that it is a double pull 30 amp breaker and it is connected there with a decent amount of surface area. This would be as if you had like two metal rings. If you had a thumb ring and a pinky ring and you were to touch those to those <laughs> main lugs right over there, that is exactly what we're about to simulate. So let's get this thing hooked up and see what happens. So we are going to wear the 20,000 volt gloves that Chris from Kansas City sent to us. Thank you, Chris, for keeping us safe. So that when we do this, while we're installing the breaker, if we were to touch anything accidentally, we should be fine. Okay, so we're going to try to calculate how much wattage is going to flow through this hot dog before we even turn the breaker on. So <coughs> we'll test from here to here. We should be able to get an ohm reading. 0.42 kilo ohms. It's going up a little bit, not really sure what that's about. 0.43 kilo ohms, okay? So right here, if we calculate that out, we should have, okay, so 0.43 kilo ohms is 240 volts. We're gonna expect about 133.9 watts and a little over a half of an amp, as you can see right there. Mm -hmm. I'll just turn it on now. Yep. Here we go. Um, Amps alternating current. It's telling me right now that zero amps is flowing through this thing. Huh. Maybe hot dogs are non-conductive. So we're going to just see how many volts there are on the hot dog. Nothing? Mm -hmm. um, something's wrong. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm wearing these gloves right now. Oh my word! I didn't realize that. Okay, this is a dead slot down here. <laughs> it was so underwhelming. Okay. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that back in there, but we just had this in the wrong spot, so it was unable to make connection with the second leg of 120 volts. For some reason, it snapped in there still just fine, so we'll snap this into the correct position oh, now. What's that way around the side of the panel? Oh, the breaker's off. The breaker right is off right now, but yeah, it's important to note. Okay. So now the breaker is snapped into the right spot. <laughs> and so we should be able to actually test this now. Um, we're gonna put our meter back into amps alternating current and get it clipped around here. Okay, here we go, three, two, one. And so if Ruben's prediction is right, this thing is gonna explode. <laughs> and there's gonna be little pieces of meat that fly everywhere, so here we go. Oh my word, two amps. 2.8, 2.9, 3 amps. This is way more than I thought it was going to be. Ah! I'm going to back up. <laughs> <laughs> Holy buckets! That's ah. kind of scary. When is it going to explode? <laughs> oh my word! That is really scary. That is way more scary than I thought it was going to be. Oh, oh man, it's burning it in half. Move your arm, you fool! So we are cooking this hot dog for Ruben. Ruben <laughs> said he was hungry. Mmm. Oh it's gonna be really yummy. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, that is so sad. Think about that being someone's finger on one side. Like, that finger is about to get totally <laughs> severed. At least it's cauterized, though. Oh. 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 oh.
Okay, it's losing connection now. <laughs> oh my word. That's 240 volts and it smells awful. Oh. It smells just like burnt hair. Oh, it's really gross. It smells not half tied here. <laughs> Ruben doesn't. Ruben wanted to eat this thing. I'm not sure if he's going to actually want to eat it now. Wow. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm afraid of it. I'm I'm like I'm like really afraid of it compared to a couple minutes ago. I am more afraid of my panel than I was before. And hopefully that is the takeaway for most people is that this is terrifying. That is absolutely terrifying. When you cut the wires, the hot dog like totally <laughs> got pulled through the wires. Like you can see where the hot dog was wrapped before. Okay, I'm just gonna see. I'm gonna go to volts. Man, that was So this is this should have a voltage difference. Yep, not much. Oh. Yeah. So I guess if you stood there with your arm pressed up against the edge of the panel, it would cut into the meat. But you have to stand there a while. <laughs> you have to hold still for but, like okay, that minutes. was a lot of surface area, like. It wasn't like it was just one little spot. It was like wrapped around it several times. And it just, it's interesting how it started on one side only and it didn't do anything to the other side. So one side of your finger will be fine and the other side will not. But I think this, this side had more surface area. It was better wrapped around the hot dog than this side was. So since there was a, what do you call it? Higher resistance on this side, it started to burn and arc at that point in the circuit. So, but it never came close to tripping the 30 amp circuit breaker, apparently. Mm -hmm. So, okay. We're going to shut this off. And then I'm going to remove the breaker. And now, now, now I'm curious, do you think the whole hot dog is going to be hot? Or do you think it's going to be... I don't know, but I really want to touch it. Alright, so here. Alright, there it is. So, what does it feel like? Is it warm? It's warm. It feels like it's been in the microwave for about 25 seconds. So right there it's warm, but... This is cold. This end is cold because there was it's no... It's like a dead guy's nose. There was no current flowing through right here. Warm, and down here it's probably... No, it's just kind of warm. The whole thing's just kind of warm. Right there it feels really nice. Here, you should eat that. <laughs> so yeah, I got <laughs> Interesting how the like copper reacted with it or something. <laughs> Don't eat the copper. <laughs> Look where the copper was wrapped around it. It's like green. <laughs> that smells really gross on the end. But well, were these cooked before or are they safe to eat? Um, I think it says. Let's look at the packet really quick. Fully cooked. Fully cooked. Heat neat. Mmm. Perfect. I, I tasted it. It's actually not bad. Mm. Oh, the burnt part's really bad. I got some of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. And the burnt part is really gross. Oh. Here, you want to try it? Uh, sure. Oh, actually, I don't know. Actually, I actually think I'm fine. <laughs> Recently, there's been some big changes at Amazon with their affiliate marketing program. And I'm sure some of you guys have heard me mention that links down in the description for different products. Like today, I mentioned about the gloves. You can purchase some gloves there, and then I get a very small commission on that purchase. But recently, Amazon it has cut in half, almost cut in half all of the different uh, categories. So our, my commission rates and my commission income is going to be about in half. So it's kind of a huge deal for the channel as far as being able to continue making videos like this for you guys. So I'm looking into some different options for how I can keep the channel going and kind of get some revenue that is outside of just uh, YouTube ads and Amazon affiliate marketing. So Patreon is one option. I'm sure some of you guys have heard of it, but it's basically a site that will allow you to contribute a little bit of money and that will be recurring monthly. And that would make a huge difference for the channel. But what I want to know from you guys specifically is, would you even be interested in considering supporting the channel on Patreon at all? Uh, I'll put a poll right up here so you guys can click on that and just tell me yes or no. Would you support the channel on Patreon? Yes or no? There will be additional benefits for Patreon members, so I'll create a different, a few different tiers 
and I'll probably talk about that in future videos if we do get it set up but right now I just want to know if you guys are interested in that so hit that poll tell me if you're interested and uh, comment down below if you have any ideas on uh, how much I should price those at as far as uh, the dollar amount per month or per episode and so I'd really appreciate that a whole bunch. Ruben just randomly showed up to drop off that furnace right over there and apparently what I was doing was interesting enough that he decided to stay so since he stayed and since he helped with this you need to make sure that you click right here on this card and then you can subscribe to Ruben's channel where he makes videos over there at his humble abode so uh, make sure you subscribe to Ruben's channel. I'll also put a link in the description to his channel because the cards don't always show up. Thank you again to Chris from Kansas City for the lineman gloves. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Tyler. Uh, Tyler is a fan of the channel and he's about the same age as my son here. Say hi. Hi. And him and his dad have been doing some cool projects. Uh, they're into learning about electrical together. So they actually built an electricity wall and I'll put the pictures here so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to say thanks for watching my videos, Tyler. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in future videos. For now, the best way that you can support the channel is to click on one of these videos right over here and we'll keep learning and doing some electrical experiments together. I'd appreciate it very, very much. And we'll see you over there in just a few seconds. I wonder if I could Photoshop this to look like my finger.